Yvonne has recovered well from her stroke. Well, mostly. The 48-year-old can now shop independently, drive a car and go back to work. However, her gait has not been the same since the stroke, despite rehabilitation. She must concentrate on every step and long distances pose a problem for her. This burdens her greatly. Neurorehabilitation for stroke and Parkinson's disease aims to regain impaired functions. However, the effectiveness of therapy varies greatly between individuals and often does not lead to the desired improvement in quality of life. The Stimuloop project focuses on impaired gait behaviour in these patients and develops new personalised methods in neurorehabilitation to improve walking and sustainably so. The basis of personalised therapy is the precise assessment of the individual's gait pattern. In the Stimuloop project, a detailed three-dimensional gait analysis is used, accurately capturing deviations from a normal walking pattern. This allows us to determine exactly what is causing the gait disturbance in the affected patient. In the subsequent training weeks, Yvonne receives intensive gait training tailored to her specific deficit. While patients walk on a treadmill in a virtual environment, they receive continuous biofeedback using augmented reality. Digital obstacles and movement sequences can be inserted directly into the training on a screen or in goggles. By constantly visualising movement quality and performance, new neural connections are formed in the brain and the correct walking pattern is relearned. However, these therapy successes are usually short-lived. What is learned is typically quickly forgotten and old patterns return. To prevent this from happening, what is learned must be transferred from short-term memory to long-term memory. This primarily occurs during sleep. This process is enhanced in Stimuloop with a new technology that has already proven its effectiveness in a previous project. During sleep, brainwaves are recorded using EEG. In the deep sleep phase, characterised by specific patterns in the EEG, acoustic signals that were played during the gait training are replayed. This does not disturb the sleep of the individuals and they do not wake up. In this way, the played sounds stimulate the neural patterns in the brain that were formed during the motor learning process. These new movement patterns are consolidated, thus transferred to long-term memory. The patient learns more quickly and sustainably through this nocturnal stimulation. The entirety of the data from Stimuloop is used for recovery forecasts and the establishment of new highly personalised rehabilitation programmes. The need as well as the societal benefit is evident. Stroke and Parkinson's are the most common neurological diseases in the older population and lead to significant reductions in quality of life. In Yvonne's case, the personalised analysis found that the nerve pathways responsible for controlling and coordinating the muscle groups that move the left hip joint are impaired, leading to her uneven gait. With a continuation of her training programme specifically optimised for this deficit, combined with sleep stimulation, Yvonne hopes to soon be able to move around carefree once again.